This is basically an introduction on how to use the internet to earn money. Now, there are four areas of expertise what you can offer people, such as mail order, subscriptions, downloads, services, such as web design. Now, mail order, right? You want to get something light from the warehouse that will fit into a small box like a cactus, a baby cactus, or maybe a plug plant, or some watches, or carriage clocks. CDs, they're quite good to sell, but not very expensive. You want something quite expensive, or small and light, and will fit into a box, kind of like Rolex watches. Anyway, subscriptions, information is king. People want information. People want media. This is coming leading up to the next area, which is downloads. Now, you can combine the two subscriptions to your service of downloads, which is open source music is going to be the next big thing. This is my tip to you. Open source music. Google it. Find out what it is all about. Download as much open source music as you can. Record information on the musician, what type of category it is. Organize that music collection. Then get a website, upload it to it. Offer 30 second samples of each song to play on site so the audience can get a little listen of what music it's like. Then offer download 10p per download of a track just to cover the bandwidth. That's what you tell them. Even though you're probably going to get a host with unlimited bandwidth, unlimited storage, so you're not going to be charged for the bandwidth. You're not going to be charged, you're going to be paying a one off fee each month. Usually about £15 a month for this for a good host. You make more than £15 a month in subscription fees and then offer subscriptions and with that subscription you get a discount on music, maybe 53 tracks a month, then if you go over that you'll get charged 5p a track instead of 10. You see where I'm going with that? That's why you want to sign up with us and offer open source music. Now another thing is services. Time is money. Your time is money. Sell your skills online. If you're a web designer, so be it. Go to Gumtree. If you're in the UK, go to Gumtree.com. That's G-U-M-T-R-E-E.com. Go to Gumtree. Find your location, be it London, be it Bristol, Birmingham, anywhere you're near the Midlands. Wherever you are located, advertise your services, your website, design a website, advertise it, get in that, just and offer your services. But if you're a cleaner, you can offer your services. A taxi driver can offer your services. Get a website made. Now, to get a top ranking domain name on Google and Bing and all the others like Yahoo, Lycos, Alta Vista, don't you? Well, basically, you use a product that you're selling in the domain name, then add words like sus or best ever or the top. So, if you're selling, say, peyote, use the words like sus peyote. Now, don't use words like UK, GB. England, Scotland, Wales and so forth in your domain name if you want and this is only if you want to register it as a trademark. If you're not bothered about trademarks and copyright and so on and so forth, use UK. It's very important. So such as Piote UK, that's the domain I've got, is a top ranking domain in the UK. I sell primarily to UK based customers. And I earn a hundred pound a month from five sales, four or five sales a month 
I earn about 100 to 120 pounds a month from Kyoto. Now you combine that to another website, another mail order business, you're getting another four or five sales a month, you're earning 200 pounds. Then if you combine that to three, or should I say three websites, such as selling pens, Rolex watches, and Piota, and you're making four or five sales off each site, you'll soon start cashing in. Same with services, same with downloads, same with subscriptions. The more sites you have, the more money you will make. So that is basically my introduction on how to earn money with the internet. So get out there, get a site, once you've earned some money on your first site, make a second site, and as soon as you get a dog site, don't use it anymore, ditch it. Ditch the dog sites what don't earn you money, because they're just a dead hole. You're throwing good money after bad with them. Don't use it. So just get as many sites as you can. Uh, you can get in a web designer, someone to do your stationery, such as business cards, paper letterheads, logos. I recommend Vistaprint for them. Vistaprint. I'm not going to spell it, you can Google it. They're good for stationery, your stationery. They will get your brand out there and hopefully design your website for you as well. Usually you have to pay £100 per web page or £50 a web page. Depending on the site, it's worth the investment. Get a web host, get a web page up, learn HTML if you want to design it yourself and save that 50 to to £100. HTML is really easy to use. Page UK was a purely HTML site. I use HTML and CSS and basically I earned a lot of money from that site over the years. Long, and also another tip is the longer your site is established the higher the ranking will be and the more customers you will get as the name gets spread in social media networks. You've got to get your name out there into the forums, the message boards by mass email, by advertising with Google or Yahoo. You've just got to get your name out there to as many people as possible. Social media is a good place to start. Uh, make friends, then advertise your business with your friends, your acquaintances, online. Really worth it.